Hi. Today we're going to talk about uh, some infrastructure updates for Brazil and South America that we did in the past few months, year. So a little bit about me. I'm Alexandre, but you can call me Alex. I'm a software engineer at SUSE. I'm a package maintainer, forum moderator, mirror administrator, and other things for open source project. The problem we had with Infra in Brazil was uh, users encountered frequent timeouts during updates. The load speed was often slow because users were sent outside Brazil. If users are sent outside Brazil, there is a big penalty in speed and latency, especially when they're sent to Europe and the US. Uh, very few mirrors in Brazil and South America had tumbleweed and very few kept it up to date as it takes more time to sync if compared to a stable release like Leap. To put into perspective, this is the size of the problem. Brazil is huge. Brazil is the size of a continent. A network link between states is not great in some cases, and it can be even worse to some countries in South America. And other continents, there's high latency. So if users are sent to, to Europe or US, there's a big latency usually. Uh, the first issue was the low numbers of mirrors. So Brazil needs mirrors in main regions and states because Brazil is a big place. So users are sent to servers that are close to their homes if there are uh, mirrors in different states. Adding more mirrors mean that data is available locally. And if data is available in Brazil and South America, users don't need to go that often to Europe and US during installs and updates. This reduces latency and timeouts. Adding more mirrors did not solve the problem of latency and timeouts completely because users were still Uh, users are still requesting metadata information from, from Europe. Metadata requests from Brazil were sent to Nuremberg in Europe, adding one instance of mirror cache to cache metadata in Brazil improved the situation significant, signif significantly, but one instance was not enough. And now we have, we can have three instances for redundancy and to balance the user's requests. If packages and metadata are kept locally, very few requests will leave Brazil or South America. And this change, and this change combined with the previous one improved the performance significantly. The mirrors don't mirror out the content that is available in OpenSUSE servers and for packages and repositories that are not commonly used, users might still be sent somewhere else in case the data is not in Brazil or South America. Download content is a pro prox cache server that, that caches small files if a given package is not found in Brazil or South America. Uh, download content will, will cache this for the next time a user's request is. But keep in mind that this cache is only small files and the cache has a size limit also. So it doesn't cache everything, but it helps in some cases. So what this translates to, let's put some numbers in the table or efforts turn it into five new mirrors in Brazil. We have nine in total, one new mirror in Chile, two in total, a one new mirror in Argentina, two in total, three instances of mirror cache in Brazil, and one instance of download content in Brazil also. But not everything was fixed, and this is where you might be able to help us. We still have no mirrors in the north and northeast of Brazil, for example, Amazonas, Bahia, and Pernambuco. 
We still have no mirrors in some countries, for example, Bolivia, Colombia, and Peru. Tumbleweed changes too much, and it's hard for mirrors to keep repositories up to date. I don't really see a good solution here. Only a CDN might be able to help. Our mirror cache instances in Brazil are not yet behind a load balancer or GeoDNS, but this is something that is going to change probably soon with a few upcoming changes to the OpenSUSE infra. We wouldn't be here if not for some sponsors. I would like to thank Binario Cloud for providing us with two machines, one for uh, one mirror and one instance of mirror cache. I would like to thank Dynahost for providing us with two machines, one for a mirror, one for a mirror cache, and one for download content, and Adjun for providing one machine for mirror cache. And also a big shout to our new partners, Local Web, it's hosting a mirror in Brazil, around five terabytes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Pop SC is also hosting a mirror. Um, UFMT is also hosting a mirror in Brazil. And Sitza and Redelibi are also hosting a mirror in South America. That's it. Thank you.